Hello, I'm David Broadhead and welcome once again to the business programme here on Kirkley's Local TV. Improving economic productivity underpins our ability to grow wages and ultimately our standard of living. And it's no secret that nationally we have a major issue with our failure to raise productivity. I read recently that over the last 10 years our increase in productivity has been the lowest since the 1820s. A frightening statistic, particularly those of you familiar with post-Napoleonic history or simply those that enjoy watching the Poldark series on a Sunday evening. Innovation is the key driver to increase in productivity and its two key constituents are capital investment and skills. The government has tried with the negative effects so far to improve skills nationally, particularly through the introduction of the apprenticeship levy. But what initiatives are taking place to improve skills at a more local level? as we endeavour to ensure that the Leeds City region does not become a low-skills, low-wage environment. To begin to answer that question is my guest today, Joanne Patrickson, Project Director at the West Yorkshire Consortium of Colleges and responsible for the recently announced Skills Funding Programme for the Leeds City region, with a budget of over £20 million to invest over the next three years. Joanne, thank you ever so much for joining us today tell us about this ex exciting new initiative taking place locally. Can I start with asking you about the role of the West Yorkshire Consortium of Colleges in this project and where the funding has come from? Yes, yeah, certainly. So West Yorkshire Colleges Consortium, uh, Consortium of Colleges, is a uh, company that is owned by the seven FE colleges in West Yorkshire. Um, it's been in, in existence now for about the last 16 years and there's always been in um, colleges have always bidded on, on for funding on behalf of the college uh, behalf of the consortium. Um, more recently, we have taken the consortium in a different direction, and it's actually been the bidding vehicle on behalf of skills programs in yeah. the in the Leeds City region. And to date, it's secured um, for the most recent part of the European Strategic Investment Fund. It's secured mm -hmm. over twenty million pounds worth of ESIF money. Um, into the Leeds City region to support employed people and uh, increase the skills levels within within the workforce. Excellent. It's EU money, mm. shall we say? It is. Yes. Um, post Brexit, what happens? Post Brexit, we are hoping uh, that the plans in terms of developing a shared prosperity fund, which is in discussion between the UK government and, uh, and the EU Commission, uh, will take place. So we've currently just had notification that the current programme that we've got is being extended. Um, that no matter whether there is a deal or a no deal, uh, come Brexit, that they will actually commit the money and uh, continue to fund to 2023. And then beyond that, we hope to have the UK Shared uh, Prosperity Fund, which will replace the EU funding that we currently have. That's excellent news. Now, one simple question, which I suspect will have a rather more complex answer, in that what are the funding programmes available through the consortium? And what skills and levels do they actually cover? Okay, so we're very lucky in the fact that we managed to secure three programmes to date. We've got three more in the pipeline, um, but actually the three that we cover cover help us to support people who are low paid uh, and really right. do need to be able to progress within the workforce through our More Skills Better Jobs programme. We also have programmes which support people who have never maybe considered undertaking higher level qualifications. So those that uh, where they may need a change in direction within their job role, their job focus, but want to go and undertake some further qualifications at a higher level. And then we also, uh, that's our Reach Higher programme, and then we've also got the Skills Service, which is our open door to employers where we can support their training and workforce development plans, and it'll be part funded through the European Social Fund. So that helps them really deliver on their plans to enable them to be more productive, to reduce their staff turnover and really do to really enable them to address those skill shortages which are going to be prevalent in the city region over the next 10 years. Brilliant, that's, that's a wide reaching provision isn't it? It is, to, yes uh, it to, is. To cover a lot of mm -hmm. bases. So how do individuals and organisations actually access the funding? Um, our website is our primary portal for those individuals and uh, businesses so there are inquiry forms which they can go to on the West Yorkshire Colleges Consortium uh, website. We've got a number of skills advisors which are working, are out and about working across the districts. They work throughout the whole of the Leeds City region and they can support businesses in actually developing skills plans, 
um, putting in uh, applications for funding and then looking at long-term plans as well in terms of what their workforce development skill needs will be. So all of the contact details are on the website um, and our skills advisors are there to support, uh, those, uh, support those funding applications as well. And the training that's available, is that going to be provided solely by colleges or are private providers encouraged? And if so, how can they become involved? At the moment, it's just by our seven colleges, but we are commissioning some new provision come October time. So between August and October, we'll be bringing on some new providers, private providers, um, as well as other colleges in the North Yorkshire area as well. But we want our provision to be um, driven by what the employer needs are. So we have a, a, a collateral of um, intelligence, a labour market intelligence which we use to identify. So working with employers, working with our stakeholders and our intermediaries and our colleges to identify what those skill requirements are and then actually going out to commission on a sector basis so that we actually do deliver and meet the employer needs in the city region. Brilliant. On a personal note, what does a typical day at the office look like and what do you think of being the career key career experiences or learning opportunities to date that enable you to lead on such a critical and challenging project? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> <I think laughs> that's why I saved it till the end. Uh, day to day, um, you know, it can be anything from meeting with the colleges, meeting with our stakeholders. We work very closely with the Leeds City Region Enterprise Partnership. Um, we have a number of masters that we need to serve, so we mm. do. I think the main success of being able to deliver on programmes like this, and the consortium has had extensive success over the last 12 years. Um, so it's been colleges have bidded on behalf of the consortium, and we've secured over £150 million pounds worth of funding, uh, both within the city region and nationally. The focus now has, has come back to the city region in terms of what we do, but. The main successes I would think were, are that we've worked, we've worked with integrity and been very open and transparent, uh, working with our stakeholders and our intermediaries and our partners as well, um, and really being able to articulate what they require and then turning it into a product and an offer which really is required by employers as well. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's a brilliant update. Thank you for that. You're but welcome. Sadly, that's all we've got time for this week. I'd like to thank Joanne Patrickson again, the West Yorkshire Consortium of Colleges, for making us aware of the skills funding now available across the region. Get your applications in now and I look forward to seeing you all next time here on the Business Programme on Kirklees Local TV. Goodbye.